Welcome to North Tarrant Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. This video will cover important information for proper post-surgical care after general tooth removal. If you have been scheduled to have a tooth or multiple teeth removed, it will be important to follow these instructions exactly as we present them. Discomfort is normal after the extraction of teeth. If you are not allergic or intolerant to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, start taking ibuprofen, also known as Advil or Motrin, as instructed by your doctor at the time of your surgery. If you are asthmatic, do not take ibuprofen unless you have tolerated it in the past. If your pain is not controlled by the ibuprofen alone, take your prescribed narcotic in addition. Ibuprofen and your prescribed narcotic can be taken together. Be certain to take your pain medicines with food. This will help prevent nausea. Remember, narcotic pain medicine will impair your judgment and reflexes. Gauze pads should be placed directly over the extraction site and held into place with firm biting pressure. Proper placement will help you not swallow blood, which can make you nauseated. Replace the gauze pads every 20 to 40 minutes. When the gauze pads have little or no blood on them, they are no longer necessary. The amount of bleeding will vary from person to person. Most of your bleeding will slow within three to four hours, but small amounts of bleeding is common for up to 24 hours. Do not rinse on the day of your surgery. It may prolong your bleeding. Begin salt water rinses the day after surgery and continue for one week. Rinse with warm salt water six to eight times each day. To make the salt water solution, dissolve half a teaspoon of salt into a small glass of warm tap water. If you have been given an irrigating syringe, start irrigation on the third day following surgery. Fill the syringe with warm salt water and place the tip of the syringe into the extraction site to clean. Do this three to four times a day for two weeks and listen as the surgical site heals. Swelling is normal after surgery and is a major cause of post-extraction discomfort. Swelling typically peaks by the third day and then starts to resolve. It can be reduced by the use of an ice pack. Apply the ice pack to the side of your face for 10 minutes. Transfer it to the opposite side for another 10 minutes. Continue icing the face for the first 24 hours. Do not freeze the skin. Ice packs are useful for the first 24 hours only. Also, keep your head elevated on two pillows for three to four days. These measures will not eliminate swelling, but they will help reduce its severity. To allow blood clots to form undisturbed, do not eat for two hours after surgery. Start with clear liquids such as apple juice, tea, or broth. Gradually ramp up your diet as tolerated. Always cool down any hot foods or liquids during the first 24 hours. If you were sedated for surgery, do not eat fatty, creamy, or oily foods. These foods may cause nausea. You should only eat soft food for the first week. For example, soups, eggs, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf are fine. For two weeks, eight weeks if you had lower wisdom teeth extracted, do not eat hard, crunchy, or very chewy foods such as European breads, pizza crust, steak or jerky, nuts, or popcorn. To help prevent dry socket, do not use a straw for the first three days after surgery. Begin brushing your teeth the day after surgery. It is important to brush all of your teeth even if the teeth and gums are sensitive. Bacterial plaque and food accumulation near the extraction site will delay healing. Do not smoke for at least a week. Smoking will increase your bleeding. The nicotine and tar in tobacco impairs healing and may cause a dry socket. Unless told otherwise, do no vigorous physical activity for three days following your surgery. Physical activity increases your blood pressure, which will cause an increase in your swelling, pain, and bleeding. You may gradually increase your activity, such as jogging or tennis, five to seven days after your surgery. If there are any serious problems or questions, please call our office at 817-259-1300.
72. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We look forward to seeing you and providing you with the highest level of care at our state-of-the-art facility. Thank you.